In my most cynical moments, I tend to think of digital humanities as the ultimate revenge of global capitalism on the traditional humanities. Because a lot of what we do in this field has to do with the mode of automation and quantification and something that could be termed as cultural super efficiency. We are trying to process as much text as possible in as little time as possible. And this is very troubling intellectually because it in a way removes texts and other artifacts out of their context. It turns everything into data. Anybody who works with literature or who has studied literature knows that the same word can have many different meanings, many different shades of meanings in different contexts. If you translate everything into data, you kind of flatten out the actual meaning and the depth of the meaning of particular words. So DH runs the risk of becoming a kind of grand decontextualizer of the traditional humanities, of turning everything into a kind of conveyor belt scholarship. And this is my worst nightmare. I do have other nightmares involving elevators, but this is my worst professional nightmare. However, there is the other side of the coin as well. And it has to do with what it is possible and what we can do with digital objects. The main difference between a material artifact and the digital artifact lies in the value, in the inherent value that they have for us. Material artifacts are important in themselves, culturally, socially, historically. Digital artifacts are important because of what we can do with them. And that is the main difference. That is why digital humanities is making it possible for us to engage with our cultural heritage, with our digitized cultural heritage, in new ways and new forms. The goal is not to replace traditional humanities or to um, destroy poetry in our lives or to turn everything into data, but the goal is to give us tools and methods to engage, study, transform, criticize, and even play with our own cultural heritage. And that goal should not be underestimated by any means. In the same way that the value of a digital object is in what you do with it, the value of digital scholarship is what you make out of it or what you do with it. How you interpret your data, how you link your data visualizations and your abstract models with actual close readings of text. How do you bridge the gap between close and distant reading? This is the challenge that faces us all. I firmly believe that it is in this um, gap, in, in this interaction between close and distant reading that the most exciting things can happen. Thank you.